A lot of the reason that I started modeling the buildings in Google Earth is because I'm proud of my hometown. It was, you know, interesting seeing big cities like New York to have all these models popping up, but seeing that it could happen in Calgary or Vancouver or Edmonton um, was just exciting. I think the favorite model that I've done is of a high-level bridge. It's a really prominent structure in downtown Edmonton, and when you're in Google Earth, seeing this bridge pop up is definitely, I think, unexpected. What I model basically, it's my city, but it's also my neighborhood. It's where I live and where I work. And so when I do models in Google Earth, it's sort of seeing the city the way I see the city. We found tremendous value in modeling our downtown because we wanted to have an opportunity for other people to be able to experience our downtown. We can actually bring people into the downtown thanks to SketchUp by making a 3D models of our buildings using the way it is embedded into Google Earth. Well, we were hoping to start with just one block on a, uh, what's known as Waverly Place. It is the center of the downtown. We uh, were going to start with that block and then the project grew and it ended up, I think we had 23 volunteers and each took three buildings. So that portion of the project is complete but people can't let go because SketchUp is so addictive to do they're doing more buildings and they're going further east. To add that three-dimensional um, aspect to it really gives you a feel for walking around the downtown. I think what I'm most excited about seeing in 3D is the relationship that this campus has with the city of Boston. It's really hard for people who've never been here to understand what it is about Boston University that uh, separates it from other schools. And it's hard to communicate that through two-dimensional images. So we, we brought on a third-party company. We had them model the entire campus using SketchUp. And that's hundreds of buildings. Uh, we're putting them in Google Earth. You know, one of the reasons that this, this seems to us to be more and more viable investment is the way in which people are able to consume content that's put in Google Earth. The town of Amherst was going through a master planning process and uh, we really wanted to be able to uh, visualize proposed changes over time. We deal in public information, but it's really incomplete when that public information can't be truly in, in the people's hands. But when we can put it into a format like SketchUp or Google Earth, uh, KML format, uh, there's just a tremendous benefit to everyone. We live in three dimensions. We experience the world in three dimensions. It's really hard when you're in a, in a public meeting and you're looking at a two-dimensional map trying to figure out what exactly you're looking at and make a decision that's going to make an impact for the long term. Uh, when you're looking at things in 3D, you're looking at it in the same way we see it every day. And we're seeing more and more people get up on stage at town meeting using screenshots from Google Earth or SketchUp showing potential changes and potential um, uh, effects of zoning amendments and so forth. And so it really has an impact on our community.